Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where I click look at various art books and Peter the Penguin is with us today for this one and we're looking at issue number three just going to pop in to say something this isn't actually issue number three it's issue number seven it's, this is issue number seven so I've got the issues mixed up it's because they confuse me with the numbering it's very weird so this is issue number seven of the Dangerous Ink magazine, which is an alternative arts magazine, and it's got interviews, comic books, uh, comic strips, and stuff like that. These are quite fun little, completely random magazines. Really, they're just full of craziness, which is fun because I'm not used to this, so I'm quite enjoying this. Little Clint Eastwood there. <laughs> Pew! Dangerous Ink. Electra set. I've got some of their pen their they're like Copic markers. They're quite cool they are. But this is issue number three and this is what we've got inside. Oh look this one's coming off. Shall I pull it? Yay! Separation. Sometimes you have to separate yourself. <laughs> so th this one is these are second hand magazines. It's the first time I've ever had an issue. I think do that. Creepy cat. So let's start out with little creepster. The little creepster. <laughs> creepy cat. Hey, they've done the same thing where they, they've got the same image on all the things. Is it always like that? I like that, look. Look what they've done there. They've took it from there, put it into that. That's cool. That's really fun, that. Little creepy cat. I want to sit down and read these. So, we've got... That's making everything slip around. Look how crazy the, these things are. This is it's mental. I could never come up with stuff like that. I would love to talk to the artist and ask them how they come up with this sort of stuff. It's mental, look. Musical instruments as faces. It must be graphite. Is that, do you reckon? Pencils? Musical anatomy. <laughs> That's cool, that is. You could have a big willy. A big willy like a trombone. That'd be quite cool. Hmm, look at this, look. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if, look at that, look. I wonder if... You just sit down and you say, I'm going to mix. Maybe you just, you think of a musical instrument. That's mental. I muck. Little police officer, look. Funny little characters. Gods and monsters. The fantastical world of Ray Harry Hansen. Oh look, little, little mo models like Wallace and Gromit. Oh cool. Hey! I remember you used to watch films like that. It's like Sinbad the Sailor. Yay! Hey! He did the skeletons in Jason and the Argonauts. I watched that about a year ago. That was that was really creepy because the the frame rate on those skeletons was probably maybe two frames a second, but it, that it gave them an even creepier feeling because they were sort of jumping about. It's just quite a very unique look that is. I feel like that's almost scarier than having it all be CG. 
Oh, he did Sinbad as well, look. Sinbad, I remember a big massive bee. They were on a pirate ship with big massive bees. Oh, I'm going to love reading this. Ray Harrant Hanson. Yeah, I remember that. It comes to life. Look at this, look. You've got little drawings of... Working it all out. Cool. Storyboards. Oh, that's fantastic. I like that as well. You've got little behind the scenes. Stop motion, that's it. I feel like they should go back to doing stop motion. wonder what it'd look like nowadays, stop motion. Very clean and crisp. Something about that. I quite like that. Dean Fleming. Look at that bit. I love that. Colours on it. Oh, I wish they told you what it was made with. I feel like that's pencils, but I don't know. <laughs> look at him, look. I like the pink on that. Look at the... It's got beautiful colours on it. I love that little guy. <laughs> Funny, that one. My favourite character, I think, so far. Start the fans. He's Tony. Richard O'Brien. Oh, cool. Got a little interview with... So, with Yeah, got a little interview with Richard O'Brien. Rocky Horror. He did the Rocky Horror. Didn't he do, um, what's it called? Crystal Maze. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, he was mad. I love that film, Wacky Horror. Alice. <laughs> oh, cool, that is. Nice colours. Jenny's weird friend. Look at the colours. I love this. Tasty. There's only like four colours there. Black, white, cream and pink. That would be a really nice colour combination for a website, I think. Nice creamy pink. It's going to be really... It's going to be really interesting to go onto these websites because these magazines are from like 10 years ago it's going to be interesting to see how these artists have evolved over the years oh, nice a little bit haunting like that the Bishop Free. Let's look. It's one of those you could look at for a long time and see lots of things in it. Is that a wizard? Cool. It's a little wizard man. Oh, these are nice. A little car, look. Going through the street. Yeah, this is an artist I'd look into. Pred Pedro Pedro de Castro. Cool name. Pedro de Castro. Crazy. Coloured pencils, pastels, and it's 
madness. Like a little monkey man. Yeah, that's beautiful inking. Look at that, look. Look at all the different lines and stuff. That's crazy. I love that. Quality of that is amazing. Again, I'd look into that artist as well. And then we've got Johnny Subconscious 2K9. <laughs> this, this, why, that, this is crazy. Rambo, look. <laughs> Craziness. And that's the end of this one. Put the cover back on. <laughs> look. That's quite fun. I think my favourite thing in here, I love that, I love the colours on that one, I like that little guy, I think that's my favourite thing because it's going to be really interesting reading that I think, that's quite funny, I think my favourite artist in here is probably, I would say Pedro. But I really like that. Jenny's weird friend. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a look at issue number seven of the Dangerous Ink magazine.